Welcome to the Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the ISO 27001 compliance checklist and we are going to talk about the audit requirements. So we are going to first start with what actually is the ISO 27001 compliance. So the ISO 27001 is an international cyber security standard designed to help organizations secure the information systems. Additionally, it helps the organization implement an effective information security management system which is known as ISMS to safeguard their information. Now if you were to summarize all of this, basically it outlines the requirements for an ISMS such that an organization can implement it effortlessly and be fully confident in keeping information secure. After knowing what ISO 27001 compliance is, let's talk about the requirements for ISO 27001. So starting off this list we have that we need to appoint an ISO 27001 team. Now the first step towards achieving the ISO 27001 standard is to assemble a team to oversee the ISMS implementation. Further, the team members should have knowledge and experience in information security. Now in addition, your team should have a leader to drive the project as well. Now the security team creates a plan detailing all ISMS implementation processes including objective, cost, time frames, etc. And indeed, this document is useful when evaluating progress and helps the team stay on track. Number 2 on the requirement list, we have building your ISMS. The ISMS should be comprehensive and define the organization overall approach. Nevertheless, it should outline the expectation for the management staff and partners when it comes to handling sensitive data and IT systems. Now as mentioned before, the ISMS should be tailored to your organization. It should align with your company's business approach and the business process and the nature of the security risk that you are going to face. Number 3 on our list we have defining the risk assessment methodology. Now the risk assessment is crucial when you want to achieve ISO 27001 certification. For this reason, the organization should take a systematic approach to the understanding the potential security threats and the likelihood of them happening. Given that, risk assessment begins with mapping out the business assets involved in information handling and the next step is to identify all assets and document them accordingly to priority. Number 4 is conducting a risk assessment. Now performing a vulnerability assessment to identify any weaknesses that could lead to unauthorized access to sensitive data. And in that, security assessment is essential to establish the likelihood of a cyber attack. Now to conduct a comprehensive risk assessment, you should combine various strategies. These include penetration testing, social engineered attacks, manual testing and ethical hacking and so much more. Number 5 on our list we have complete a statement of applicability which is known as the SOA document. Now the statement of applicability details your organization system security scope. Now the SOA states all security controls applicable to your organization. Ideally, the ISO 27001 has a control set known as the Annex A containing 114 possible controls. Now you should select the control that address the risk identified in your assessment. Beside, you should also state the controls that you apply as well. Now number 6 on our list we have deciding how to measure the effectiveness of the ISMS. Now following the risk assessment and the SOF filing, you should follow up with the basis for evaluating the implemented controls. Particularly, this approach helps you identify any missing areas in your ISMS. Now this step involves setting a threshold of all processes, policies and thresholds that determine the effectiveness of ISMS. Number 7 on our list we have to implement the ISMS policies and controls. Well it's pretty straightforward by this point that when you have the ISMS policies and the SOA filing, you need to implement all security policies and control relevant to your organization based on the risk assessment report. Now based on the risk assessment report, you should create comprehensive security policies that dictate the organizational security approach. And once the ISMS policies and controls have been implemented, number 8 is actually implementing training and awareness programs. Again like I mentioned before, the once implementation is done, the next step is actually train your employees to be aware of security risk and how to curb them. Ideally, you should use social engineering and phishing campaigns to exploit any security awareness weaknesses. Once you have discovered these weaknesses, you can create a custom security training approach that addresses the issues at hand. Now number 9 on our list we have to assemble the required documents and records. Now it's pretty straightforward that to comply with the ISO 27001 standard, you should properly document every security procedure, provide proof of the procedures and prepare the required documents during the auditing process. And number 10 is to undergo an internal audit. Now an internal audit of your ISMS helps identify the areas that actually need improvement 
and it gives an insight into the relevancy of your ISMS. Now what you can do is that you can choose an accredited ISO 27001 auditor to perform an audit and a comprehensive document review. Afterward, implementing the audit device, implementing the audit advice and address all the non-conformities identified by the auditor. Once that has been done, the next step is to actually monitor the ISMS. Well, it's pretty straightforward at this point. The ISO 27001 requires organizations to monitor their security system and procedures. Now, significantly, monitoring enables you to detect any new vulnerabilities in real time. It even enables you to verify whether your security controls achieve the required objectives or not. You should implement a monitoring solution that monitors your ISMS continuously and collects the user logs for auditing. And number 12 is to perform subsequent audits and assessment. Well, the ISO 27001 requires the organization to perform subsequent security audits and assessment. You should hold management review quarterly or annually. Now, if you need to remain compliant to the ISO 27001, then annual risk assessment are mandatory. At number 13, we have performing a certification audit. Now, the final step toward the ISO 27001 compliance is a certification audit. Now, you need to hire an external auditor for this particular task. The certification audit is more extensive and is performed by an accredited body that's a member of the International Accreditation Forum. The ISO 27001 certificate lasts for three years. During that period, your organization should perform annual audits. Additionally, you can check out Infra SOS. Now with the Infra SOS, you can check if your Office 365 users and Active Directory users are compliant for ISO 27001. And to add to this information, the Infra SOS does not actually bound to only ISO 27001 compliance framework. It can also check your Active Directory users and Office 365 users for other frameworks or other compliance frameworks as well. Now the link to Infra SOS website is in the description box, so make sure to check it out. After that, let's also discuss about the ISO 27001 audit requirements. The very first thing that we're going to talk about is that the audits are necessary to ensure the ISMS meets the set criteria like we have mentioned before. Now these audits involve competent auditors reviewing whether the ISMS and its element meet the standards requirement or not. Also, it checks whether the controls and policies are practical and efficient and can help maintain the organization's security posture. Like mentioned in the list before that, we have two different types of audits. We have the internal audit and the external audit. So if you were to talk about the internal audit, then an internal audit is done by the organization using its own resources. And we have already explained the procedure of an internal audit. And after that, we have the external audit. Again, we have talked about it that the external audit is known as the certification audit of ISO 27001. And once the external auditor is satisfied with the ISMS design of your organization, then they recommend your organization for certification. That is how an external audit works. Now talking about the external audit in a little more detail, then to remain compliant to ISO 27001, the organization must meet the following audit requirements. These are effective management review, updated documentation, internal audit reports, and the audit report analysis. Other than this, you must perform an internal audit once every three years to remain compliant. Now, if you still want to learn more information about the ISO 27001 compliance, then you can check out the link in the description box. Other than that, if you have learned anything new with this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.